In today's exploration of the extraordinary, we're diving deep into a cave where scientists just discovered something gigantic that shocked the whole world. As we peel back the layers of Earth to reveal the secrets below, join us on this adventure to uncover what might be lurking in the shadows of a vast underground chamber. We begin with a truly jaw-dropping find, revealing a mystery so massive it challenges our understanding of what lies beneath, what secrets does this hidden world hold. Let's find out. While exploring an old mining network that extended into natural cave systems, a group of researchers ventured deeper than usual into a series of forgotten tunnels. They navigated through the narrow passageways and descended into uncharted depths, using only their headlamps to guide them. The thrill of discovery drove them forward, past warnings of unstable ground and eerie echoes in the darkness. As they reached a particularly vast cave chamber, their lights caught on something unexpectedly metallic and gigantic in the distance. Approaching cautiously, they realized it was a colossal machine, its surfaces dulled and partially buried in sediment. The scale of it was unlike anything typically found this deep underground. The group was shocked at the sight, immediately pulling out cameras to document the find. Questions raced through their minds. How did such a large object end up buried here in these caves? Or was this cave part of a larger, undiscovered complex? Now, as word of their discovery spreads, theories are flying. Some think it might be a relic from a secret Cold War project, or a piece of experimental mining equipment that was too ambitious for its time. Others think about more outlandish origins like lost civilization and alien technology. The true story remains buried, waiting to be uncovered, and everyone's got a guess. What do you think it could be? Archaeologists from the University of Leicester really hit the jackpot at Borough Hill, an ancient Iron Age fort near Melton Mowbray. They dug up an Iron Age chariot adorned with stunning bronze fittings, dating back to the 2nd or 3rd century BC. But this wasn't just any old chariot. Its elaborate Celtic designs hint that it once belonged to someone very high up, perhaps a noble or a warrior. Hidden away in a pit near what used to be a fort house, the chariot was meticulously packed in a box alongside horse gear, then deliberately burned in what seems to be a ritual. Dr. Jeremy Taylor, a veteran archaeologist, explained that this ritual burning shows the items were deeply significant, likely for spiritual or memorial reasons. Described by Dr. Taylor as a once-in-a-career find, this discovery doesn't just showcase the extraordinary metalwork skills of the Iron Age crafts, it also plunges us deeper into the cultural and social fabric of early British history. Cleaned and preserved, the chariot parts are soon to be displayed at Melton's Carnegie Museum, offering visitors a unique chance to step back in time and explore the lives and traditions of Iron Age people. What will we learn next from these ancient artifacts? Let's dive into a fresh take on the Sistema Otla in Mexico, which just broke its own record as the deepest cave in the Western Hemisphere. The cave now stretches over 62.7 miles, thanks to a recent extension of 728 feet, discovered in the 1960s by some bold cavers from Austin, Texas. This vast cave system has been a treasure trove of discoveries ever since. Recently, the research team ventured into the maze of twisting tunnels and uncovered new passages and chambers, revealing secrets of a subterranean world that could be as old as 15 million years. They're piecing together the geological and biological story of this ancient place, one expedition at a time. With each journey, they're not just exploring deeper into the Earth, they're also unearthing clues about our planet's past. As these explorers continue to push further into the depths, it's exciting to think about what mysteries they might uncover next in this enormous underground labyrinth. What hidden wonders await the next team daring enough to explore them. Named after the reeds surrounding its entrance, which were once used to make flutes, this cave is more than just a stunning natural attraction. It's a gateway to the past, 
Ink writings dating back to 792 AD from the Tang dynasty mark the walls, showing just how ancient this site is. Once you step inside it feels like entering a grand stone cathedral. Over centuries dripping water has sculpted beautiful stalactites, stalagmites and massive columns that reach towards the ceiling. These natural outworks are now highlighted by colorful neon lights, creating a dreamlike atmosphere that feels almost magical. The Reed Flute Cave has become a must-see for adventurers and nature enthusiasts, drawn not only by its awe-inspiring beauty, but also by its rich history. Every visit offers a new discovery, with countless stories etched into every stone and formation, igniting the imagination of all who venture inside. Just an hour away from Playa del Carmen, in Quintana Roo, Mexico, lies the Zapote Cenote, a true paradise for divers. This place is famous for Hell's Bells, the largest collection of living stalactites in the world. These aren't your typical stalactites, they're huge, bell-shaped and alive, thriving in an underwater world rich with sulfur-eating life forms. When you dive 100 feet below the surface there, you're diving into a living, breathing geological spectacle. The dive into Zapote Cenote feels like slipping into another dimension. The water features a halocline where salt water meets fresh water, casting a ghostly haze that adds an air of mystery to the experience. Despite the salt heavy and low oxygen conditions that might seem unwelcoming, this environment supports the unique growth of the Hell's Bells. Taking the plunge here is not just any dive, it's a front row seat to some of the most peculiar natural phenomena you can witness. Each dive not only brings you face to face with these formidable natural structures, but also deepens our understanding of how life can thrive under some of the most extreme conditions on Earth. It's a dive that reveals the ongoing mysteries and resilience of nature in one of the most extraordinary underwater settings in the world. In southern France there is a stunning $62 million creation that's a spitting image of the famous Chauvet Cave, known for its ancient artwork. This replica, nearly as big as a football field, was put together over seven years by a whopping 500 experts. They've recreated the 36,000-year-old cave paintings with such detail that it feels like a journey back in time. Using 3D mapping and high-resolution scans, artists, engineers and architects meticulously copied the original cave's textures and colors. Inside you'll find lifelike paintings of woolly rhinos, mammoths and lions that highlight the incredible artistry of our distant ancestors. They even made fake stalactites from plastic and paint to mirror the original cave's interior. This accessible masterpiece allows everyone to experience these ancient symbols of human thought, keeping the real cave untouched and safe from damage. Back in 2003, archaeologists digging in Germany's Hohlefels cave made an amazing discovery. A bird sculpture carved from mammoth ivory that's over 30,000 years old, making it possibly the oldest bird representation ever found. This little statue, standing just 5.5 inches tall, is more than a cool old art is more than a cool old artifact. It's a peek into the artistic skill and spiritual life of our early human ancestors. This unique bird mixes features from different animals. It has a horse's head and lion's mane. This combo not only showcases our ancestors' wild imagination, but also their deep respect for nature, reflecting the shamanic beliefs of the time where water birds held significant symbolism. The detail on this bird is incredible, from its intricate eyes to its long neck. It looks like it could fly off at any moment. 